Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of DePaul Catholic is brought to you by JAG1 Physical Therapy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com here in Wayne, highlighting the slate on Friday night here in week one. Pennsylvania State Champion Bishop McDevitt makes the drive to Passaic County to take on non-public B State Champion DePaul Catholic. Here's the first drive of the game. DePaul is slinging it. Derek Zamet hits Des Jones over the middle, and Jones does the rest. He houses a 44-yard touchdown. DePaul Catholic races out to a 7-0 lead in just 57 seconds. The Spartans go right back down the field on their next drive, and Nolan James punches in a one-yard touchdown in his DePaul debut. The Spartans lead 14-0. Bishop McDevitt responds with the ground attack. Nazir Jones Davis hits the edge and scores from 13 yards out. The Crusaders trail 14-7 at the end of the first. Early second here, Zamet and Jones team up for a key third down conversion. Zamet would later score on a one yard keeper. DePaul goes up 21-7. McDevitt answers right back with a methodical 10-play, 62-yard drive, capped off by this four-yard scramble from Stone Saunders. The Crusaders close the gap again. It's 21-14. How about this response from the Spartans? Rara Thomas fields the kickoff back at the seven-yard line. Thomas gets great blocking downfield, and he's gone! Wara Thomas goes 93 yards to the crib. Put that in the JSZ top 10. DePaul makes it 28-14 with four minutes left in the second quarter. The action is back and forth now. Bishop McDevitt on offense. Kentucky commits Stone Saunders, threads a 50-yard bomb to JMU commit Chase Regan. Extra point no good. So the Crusaders trail 28-20. DePaul looks for one more shot before the half, and they get it. Zamet finds Des Jones again. Jones gets stopped at the five, but it is a 76-yard gain. Zamet will finish the drive off with this two-yard quarterback keeper. DePaul Catholic goes into the half on fire, leading 35-20. But the tide changes in the third. Bishop McDevitt scores a one-yard touchdown, and then Lucas Lawler recovers a fumble. The Crusaders are in business, down by eight points. And here come those Crusaders. Saunders finds Alabama wide receiver commit Rico Scott for a huge 30-yard pickup. Next play, Saunders connects with Chase Regan once more. This time for 31 yards. A two-point try fails, so DePaul still leads 35 to 33. But that lead would be short-lived. Jair Roll is in, corrals in a tipped pass, and we've got a pick six. Rollison takes it 20 yards to the house. Another two-point try would fail, but the Crusaders do score 19 straight points to go up 39-35. DePaul's offense hit a rut after halftime, but they're fighting back. Nolan James breaks tackles and he's booking it. James has 38 yards here. The Spartans are back in business. On the very next play, Derek Zamet makes a play and he finds Des Jones in stride. He's got six. The Spartans go in front 42-39 as we go into the fourth quarter of this insane game. Early in the fourth, the Crusaders get a short field and they cash in. Stone Saunders finds the zone from a yard out. Nine minutes remain in regulation. Bishop McDevitt leads 46-42. Now we're gonna fast forward. Saunders looks to put this game out of reach with a first down. Two minutes remains after this Chase Regan catch. But hold on. In the final 30 seconds, the Crusaders try to run out the clock but commit a 15-yard penalty. That allows DePaul to get one final possession with under 20 seconds on the clock. 
So it would all come down to this. To Paul Catholic from their own 42-yard line get a shot as time expires. Derek Zamet rolls out, but his pass downfield is denied. Bishop McDevitt completes the comeback and wins a thriller. 46-42 is the final. It was a wild game from start to finish, no doubt. Stone Saunders led the way with four total scores as the Crusaders improved to 2-0. Des Jones shined for DePaul in the loss, hauling in eight passes for 175 yards and two touchdowns. The Spartans will turn around and face St. Peter's Prep next Saturday night in Patterson. Reporting from Wayne, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.